Okay, I'm back again really quick, just to give you a quick uh, view of the inside here. I'll kind of show you what everything is. This right here is the airspeed indicator. This is our um, attitude indicator. It shows us if we're in a bank or if we're pitching up and down. Um, and right here is the altimeter. It tells us how high we are. Um, little numbers right here. We have to turn this knob to set it, um, depending on what the pressure is every day, it changes, so we have to set it each time we go up. Um, this is the VOR, the OBS. Um, we can set this using the GPS or, or um, NAV1 here. We, we tune in the frequency and a radial, and it will show us kind of the relationship um, if we're on the radial or where we how what we need to turn to get back on the radial so we fly where we want to fly. Um, this down here kind of here we go. Um, it's kind of blocked by this. Right there, my fingers pointing at it, is the RPM indicator. So that tells us what our RPMs are. This is our heading indicator, and we have to line this up with the magnetic compass each time. That's the magnetic compass up on top. Um, here is our um, our turn coordinator. It tells us if we're keeping the airplane um, coordinated. So, um, like say we're we're in a turn and the little ball in the middle, it rolls to one side or the other. Then we know we have to put in um, rudder. Like if it rolls to the left, we step on the left rudder. If it rolls to the right, we step on the right rudder, and that helps us keep uh, coordinated so we don't lose control. Um, say if we were to stall, that would be bad if we were uncoordinated. So we practice doing that as one of our maneuvers. Um, over here, this is the fuel gauge. It tells us how much fuel we have in each wing. This right here is the fuel flow indicator. Um, so it tells us how much fuel we're burning per hour. Um, and then this is the engine temperature gauge. It tells us how hot the engine is and um, if the engine is too hot, that means, you know, we either need to lean the mixture or enrich the mixture. Um, so then here is the vacuum um, and ammeter gauges. And then this is the oil temperature and pressure gauge. And we have to check all of these things um, pretty frequently just to make sure that everything is in the green, as we say. Um, so we're, we're safe for flying. Um, so we check them several times before we take off, and we check them pretty much, um, well, fairly frequently when we fly. We, we have to glance over and check that they're all good. So anyway, uh, down here, these little white knobs with the numbers, these are circuit breakers. Um, and down here, kind of below everything, all these little switches, these turn on the fuel pump, all the different lights. This is the magnetos, the magneto switch right here. Um, so that's we turn it and start the engine. Um, and over here, let's see, well this plane has an HSI, it's a different kind of heading indicator, so these switches we use to adjust the HSI, or normally on a normal heading indicator we don't have these. Um, let's see, these knobs control the lights inside the plane, not outside the plane, so you can make them dimmer or brighter depending on, you know, what you want and when you're flying at night, so on. This right here is the throttle. Um, this is the mixture control. This is the flaps um, switch. So right now it's all the way down because flaps are all the way extended. And there's 30 degrees. You know, you lift it up, then you're at 20, lift it up again, you're at 10, then lift it up one more time, and it's at zero flaps. Um, let's see, anything over here? Oh, yeah, over here, this is the ELT indicator, emergency location transmitter. So we turn that on if, say, our engine fails and we know we're, we're having a forced landing, we turn that on so people can find us. Um, this is the Hobbs Tech indicator. It keeps track of how much time we've been in the plane when it's turned on, so we have to record that for each flight. And this is the carbon monoxide indicator, so it tells us um, if we're breathing any carbon monoxide, because that would be bad, we could lose consciousness or whatever, you know, or feel sick, tired all of that stuff if there's carbon monoxide leaking. Um, and these are just the yolks. Um, there's one on each side. 
Here's one in the left seat, that's one in the right seat. Students always sit in the left seat. Um, down here, if we go down here, um, this is the handheld mic. There's, if, say, you're, for some reason, um, your headset stops working, or whatever your radios up here stop working, you would use this handheld mic instead. This is the trim. Um, so you set that so that you can fly without really having to keep your hand on the yoke. It sets it so it will stay at a certain pitch. Um, and then this is the fuel shutoff valve, and this is the fuel selector knob. So if you want to just fly from, just use fuel from the left wing, you turn it that way, or just from the right wing, you turn it that way. Um, and anyway, I think we're getting ready to go, so I'm going to turn it off. Okay, bye.